Trayvon, a teenager, Trayvon Martin. A teenager is dead. He is dead through no fault of his own. He is dead because another man made assumptions. Trayvon Benjamin Martin. That man assumed certain things. He is dead not just because the man made those assumptions, because he acted upon those assumptions. And unfortunately, unfortunately, because his assumptions were wrong, Trayvon Benjamin Martin no longer walks on this earth. The defendant in this case, George Zimmerman, acted upon those assumptions. And because of that, a young man, a 17-year-old man, a barely 17-year-old man, I think he was three weeks past his birthday, is dead. Uh, only 17, God bless to his family, Miami got the heat, and I ain't talking about the heat, and I'm talking about the soon-to-be riots on the streets. Flashback to 92, the riots for Ryan King, the set of beef vocal and a violin. Somebody should have told Simmerman before he caused a sin Shed another man's blood, got his whole king Crying the eyes out, he just a kid, 17, barely about to live Full of dreams and ambition, probably had a mission Trayvon Martin Luther King probably had a vision The only vision Simmerman had was the black hoodie, black African man Uh, but the parents seen the hero Save his dad from a burning house I am Sabrina Fulton, and Trayvon Martin was my youngest son I'm Tracy Martin, and Trayvon was my God-given son it is the goal of all parents to teach godly and earthly love, to nurture and keep them safe. We as parents can do all we can do to protect our children, but society also has a role to play. So they will learn to become productive members of society. Trayvon could have been the one that found the cure for cancer, or the one that found the cure for paralysis, or the cure for hunger. But we'll never know because the system failed one more child. Trayvon was a son brother, grandson, godson, nephew, cousin, friend, classmate, and by Florida law, a minor. We are thankful for all of your prayers, all of your love and support that you've given to us. I would like to leave you with a quote from the One Million Moms for Gun Control. Sometimes all it takes is a tragedy seen through the eyes of a mother to bring a community together to lead a change. We can all do our parts. The time for action is now. Thanks so much for your continuing support, Sabrina Fulton, Trayvon's mother. Tracy Martin, Trayvon's father. Uh, it's crazy how much love and respect you got for someone you never met. I put this good in the earth for you. I know you love that good herb. I heard they try to put it against you. They don't know how much good to make you feel. When you feel good on the Jane, she feel you like you could escape. And I know I never met you, but I bet I got a connection with you. See spiritual life. And I'm looking to the sky and I look into your eyes and I'm smoking on this good and I put it in the earth for you. Shout out to your family cause we're missing you. Uh, yeah you ain't my brother but you my brother from another mother. You ain't my color but I got much love cause you got the same heart and you got the same God and we got the same mind. Uh, same A17 too. Damn. We are absolutely, we are absolutely sure that he's, sure in, he's heaven in heaven and that he's, and that with, he's God. with God, God, God and, and he has on a hoodie. Rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. Uh. Rest in peace, Trayvon Martin. 17. Only 17. Only 17. I used to call him the Lamb of God. Um, and, you know, at his time of death, I just, you know, I said to myself, I said that, that was a lamb that God had called home. And I told myself that uh, that I wasn't gonna let his death go unnoticed. That this death wouldn't be in vain. You know, um, even though it hurts that he's gone, I honestly believe that God had a plan for Trayvon, and it took our son's death to open the eyes of America. We are absolutely sure that he's in heaven and that he's with God. And he has on a hoodie. 
he has on a heavenly hoodie right now. He's probably looking down and he's very proud of his parents right now. And I truly believe that. And he wants us to keep fighting. He wants justice. 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 Justice.